Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm starting a little bit early. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs. Not that much early, just about a minute. <laughs> um, but just making sure that everything is copacetic. Today, we're going to be working on Carmen with Elemental Designs. Oh, I hear myself. Thanks for the soundtrack. Um, this is like a piece of, you know, like the drawers? The drawers, when they make the drawers, the board that goes under it just a junk piece um, that I found that I thought was like a really nice size. So we're going to be using that. Let me just make sure that um, my view is good. I think that down just a smidge. Get my focus up just a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Okay, Sasson. So I'm just going to give it a few minutes um, before I get myself started. And then we're going to get ourselves on the road. So more or less what I did is um, just to give myself kind of like a heads up, which I always kind of like to do when I'm working these kinds of projects, is I went ahead and did some stenciling on here already. So I'm, I'm going to share with you guys the stencils um, that I use, which pretty much any kind of stencil will pretty much work. But um, it's this one right here. And these are deco art stencils. This is actually a larger stencil, but I cut it down just so that I can fit it in smaller areas. So um, this is actually, I believe it's an eight by eight, if I'm not mistaken. And it brings four of these. So I just used, um, it's two, two different patterns. So I used just this one right here. And again, this is a deco art uh, stencil and it's full of black gesso because that is um, black modeling piece because that's what I use. Again, another product by deco art. I also use um, this, scripted uh, stencil. It's got like French words. So I use that and then I use the distressed the Harlequin. So those are the three stencils that I use. Um, and I don't necessarily care so much about neatness. Um, for those of you guys that have been following me for some time, you already know that about me. I'm not really one to care so much about perfection when it comes to stenciling, especially if I'm going to be going over it and doing other things to it, which I will be doing. So um my hands are all dirty. <laughs> so I have here um, these four little flower buds, uh, four little flowers. Um, these are made from kind of, some kind of like a chiffon kind of fabric. Um, and these are like uh, upcycled because they actually were on a belt and I took them off a belt so that I can use them on today's project. So we have uh, four of these, I believe, but I don't think I'm gonna be using all four. So my idea, um, pretty much inspired by this uh, kind of like a vase that I cut out. And I used the, the Cricut machine to cut this out. This comes from an art cartridge called Art Nouveau. Um, and it's got like all these beautiful um, different kinds of just like, you know, beautiful pieces. Um, and one of them is like this vase with these beautiful flowers that kind of come out of it. Hey, Isabel, how are you, darling? So pretty much I thought, you know, th this would look super cool on here like this. And then with some of these like little black flowers, um, you know, kind of laid out around it. And I don't know, about, like I said, if I'm going to use all four or if I'm going to use just three of them. But I've got these. And then for the stem, I've got some just regular old yarn, um, which I'm going to be more or less kind of like gluing on here somehow. Not really sure how, but I got four pieces of that, and you can use anything that you have available. You did? That's awesome. <laughs> yes, super excited about tomorrow's hop. I'm still finishing off mine, <laughs> so um, my video might be just a little bit later on in the day, um, just because I'm still adding the last final touches to it um, before you know before it's all said and done, and I record it. So I'm gonna record. I'm gonna be actually recording my video tomorrow. Um, just because between Thanksgiving and everything, it got a little bit hectic for me and I didn't really have the time to finish it all the way through. And I've been working on it for like a while now and I've just been doing like little bits and pieces here and there, but haven't done it all the way yet. <laughs> so, so hasn't started yet. He's got everything ready. He just hasn't put it all together. Um, so I've also got, found a piece of scrap. This is really pretty, um, paper. This is just a piece of leftover from some of the projects that we've been working on. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, we're hosting 
myself as well as crafting with isabel we're hosting uh timeless memories it's a vintage hop and it's five vintage projects um every sunday one is released um and it's a group of us we're i think 12 if i'm not mistaken um so definitely check that out um and hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy that so we have different crafts coming out tomorrow um and that's everybody we're all going to be doing different crafts and so i have this piece of scrap that's left over from that um so i'm going to be using that i think i think if it's kind of perfectly in here to actually cover up this vase so i'm going to be using that as you know the decoration for the vase there and then i just got a piece of this wax um tissue paper that's by some halts um i use it very sparingly because i absolutely love it hey Meline, how are you darling and so that's more or less what we're going to be starting off with um, I've got here on the side some DIY gesso. I've also got some heavy gel. Um, I've got some sprays. This is a black one. These are two DIY ones that I made. Um, this one is like a gold and this one is like a espresso. This is the brown one. So we're going to be using some of these. I also got some fine glitter, um, which is called Glamour Dust. This is another product by Deco Art. Um, I've got my Aileen's Tacky Glue here because I know I'm going to need it. Um, and I got this right here. This is a, a a spirit writer that's what it's called it's like a dauber but the dauber doesn't work anymore <laughs> it all got dried out so we're gonna go ahead and kind of get this started so um this is more or less what i did to this canvas right here so i've got some distressed harlequin um i've got some of uh the flourishes they came up uh they kind of go up and i just added them you know haphazardly all over the place again I'm not one to, you know, stress myself over perfection. I'd rather just have the texture and even little bits of texture here and there go a long way to, you know, creating the finished piece. And I also got some French wording here on the side. So some French script wording, not, nothing too, too crazy, nothing too fancy, but I am going to be adding a little bit of this uh, tissue paper here and there. Um, nothing too, too major, but just like little bits and pieces. Um, so we'll see where these kind of go. And I'm not caring if the words are like upside down, right side up. That is not, um, something that I'm really worried too much about. And I like them to be like really, um, funky shaped. Let's add some of this music section right here. And I'm not going to go too crazy adding a whole bunch of them, just a few here and there. This is going to be mostly all covered up anyway, um, once I really start getting into the whole thing of it all. So I'm going to go ahead and use, um, and if you guys hear barking in the background, that is my baby Nina, who's being a bad girl right now. Um, yes, we're still trying to uh, house train her in the sense of, you know, the barking, so on and so forth. She's only six months, so it's going to take a little bit of time uh, to get her to, you know, be as obedient <laughs> as we would like for her to be. It's like having a baby all over again. I'm telling you guys, this is just insane. It's just insane. So I'm going to apply this paper with some of this heavy gel medium. You don't need to use heavy gel medium. Any kind of glue that you have will work. This is just what I have available because my other one's finished. Normally, I would just go with just regular mats or um, even, you know, another kind of glue. This is just to just add little bits of interest here and there. Again, nothing too, uh, too perfect. I don't like perfection. I'd rather it be kind of whimsical. <laughs> yes. No more babies. That's for sure. Um, been there, done that. I should have, uh, we should have thought about that before we got a puppy. Honestly, we should have got an older dog. <laughs> That's already tired. And it's just like, leave me alone. I just want to give you a little bit of love and be on my way. But my daughter is absolutely in love with her baby Nina. And so what are we going to do, right? What are we going to do? So 
So if you guys hear like, you know, um, something slamming itself against the door <laughs> or things falling in the background, that's probably them playing. So no need for to be alarmed. They will both survive, I'm sure. Um, some of these things won't even really show just because of the way that everything else is going to kind of go around it, but it's good to have it there. It's good to have it there. It's just been a very crazy kind of week for me this week. It just seems like everything that can go wrong shall go wrong. And it's just been kind of nuts. I'm just glad that it's the week is over. Last day. Tomorrow's a brand new day, you guys. Brand new day. Yup. It's a brand new day. All right. I think I kind of like that like that. And I don't dry them because I can't dry them in the room which is part of the reason why I kind of do my stenciling outside of the room. So I'm gonna put this to the side and just start working on a uh, just swing. Well, let me show you real quick. Hey, Karina. So this is what we have so far. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean my hands and start working on um, gluing the paper down to my vase. And I'm gonna start decorating my vases. I think that'll be the easiest thing for me to do right now. It really doesn't matter which side you do it on. Where is my job? I need that. Hey, Tanya. As I was cleaning up my mess from working on the hot projects, you know, all the little bits and pieces of paper, I'm like, ooh, I need to use this. It's a triangle. What am I going to do with a triangle? And lo and behold, I found the vase <laughs> that fits it perfectly. If this is, this is not even really considered a vase, I don't think, because of the shape. I think it's um, just one of those potters, plants, potters, or whatever you call them things. But it's really pretty. Got a little bit of a vintage feel to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that down. I'm trying not to make it a super long stream today because I still have um, things to do as far as my project and stuff like that. So, but I did wanna come on today and just um, hang out with you guys for a little bit. Find the excess, cleaning up that excess. I don't have my comments in front of me, so if I miss stuff, you guys, I do apologize, but I have to keep turning my head um, towards where the computer is in order for me to be able to see. So I'm just gonna try my best at fuzzy cutting this thing. And we shall see. And this is probably way too small for how large these flower things are that I'm gonna be using, but we'll work it out. We're gonna work it out. There's no better feeling than making something out of nothing. It's already all curved up. Don't you just love when that happens? It's all curved up already. I was gonna do a different kind of project today, but um, 
I think I'm going to save that for next week when I have um, everything a little bit more better prepared. I'm still surviving Thanksgiving, you guys. Still surviving. All right. So let's go right there. Let me just get my little scraper tool. Mine was long, Serena, very long. <laughs> it's been two days and I'm still going through it. All right, so that's more or less good to go. Just want to just stress these edges out to so kind of level it all out. And I'm gonna go into this with a Tim Holtz crayon. I think, no I'm not. I'm gonna go into this with some gesso, not gesso, gelato. Start with the G you guys, start with the G. Who's drinking? I want some. <laughs> I want some. So, I'm just gonna kind of do a little line here. And this paper kind of has a little bit of a texture to it, so. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of outline this like so, and bring some of that color in. Right along that edge. Just gonna bring a little bit of that distressed kind of pottery look to it. And you can do this with a marker, with a crayon, it doesn't matter um, what you kind of use. You can even do it with some paint, some watercolors, as long as your paper is equipped to handle it. Um, this paper is um, a Hobby Lobby paper and it's it's kind of, um, it doesn't feel like regular paper. It's got like a texture to it and it's got kind of like a little bit of a gloss to it. Like naturally, I don't know if you guys can kind of see that, but it definitely does um, have like a little bit of a gloss to it. So it should be okay. Gonna darken this up just a little bit. There's a little darker here in the bottom. That's what's awesome about these gelatos is the fact that you can pretty much rub them out with your fingers. All right. Thank you. Oh, no problem, Ellie. No problem at all. Thank you so much. I'm super excited to have won your first giveaway. I get to be part of history now. <laughs> Let's 
save it. All right, so I kind of like that. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of black into that, I think. Black. This is. I have a black. So, have a regular black. Just to kind of dirty it up a little bit. Right along where, um, you know how it's supposed to have like a little bit of a ridge here, and it's supposed to have a little bit of a lip here. Um, I didn't cut out those parts. So I'm just gonna try to give the illusion that there's shadow because there's a ridge there. So I'm just gonna darken up that brown by just adding a little bit of that black in there. And that'll help me to kind of create um, that illusion that there's something there. This in the center, I'm gonna darken it up a little bit. It's really dirty. And again, there's a little bit of texture to this paper, so it's gonna grab uh, the color in different ways. So I try to go with the shape that I want. Um, So that it gives it a little bit more of a illusion of, of dimension. Even though it's 2D, there's really no dimension here. But it's, I don't even think it's 2D, right? Because it's just flat. So it's 1D, really. Uh, okay, so kind of like that. <laughs> My daughter's there fighting with the dog, poor thing. Doggy duty. Now she sees how hard we had at raising them, right? It's almost like dealing with a toddler, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> Remember those days when your toddler used to drive you insane? And you're like, please be quiet for two seconds. Just give me two seconds. Can mommy have two seconds? <laughs> That's what she's going through right now. Hello, Victoria. That's what she's going through right now. And I could not be happier. <laughs> <laughs> Teach us some valuable life lessons right now. It's not like playing dolls where the dolls are actually quiet and you just make believe that they make noise. No, puppies make noise. You wanted a doggy, have some fun with the responsibility. <laughs> All right, so I like the way that this is looking. What do you guys think? I like that. Hopefully you guys can see that well. So this is gonna be right here. So this is still kind of drying a little bit. It's almost there, it's kind of drying. Um, so what we're gonna do is I have these here. And I'm gonna uh, thread them through here. That's the goal anyways, right? To thread them. I want them to look like they're actually coming from the inside of this planter here. So I'm gonna just try to uh, do this. Maybe I need to use something else. Maybe I need to use this. And I'm gonna just feed this through. So this is what I'm saying. I'm gonna prep all of these things first. That'll make um, the setup, I think, go a lot more smoothly. And this is gonna go like this. Then I'll get to snake them out however I wish. Cut out some. <laughs> So we have a few of those. I'm going to have to uh, alter their sizes just a smidge. And these are going to be painted. Um, 
or at least sprayed because i'm going to be spraying on this so this is I, this is the reason why i chose white because it'll give me like a nice little mix of colors you guys hear my, my puppy and my daughter fighting in the background this is hilarious i love it love it love it i don't love the fact that she's doing what i'm live, but i love the fact that she's doing it to her in the first place because she thought it was going to be easy she thought it was going to be like um full house where uh, was the dog named Bandit? I think was the dog's name. Would just literally do everything and fetch everything, and it was ready to go. It was like programmed. She thought it was gonna be like that. I tried to tell her that it wasn't, but she didn't believe me. She says, "No, mom, it is gonna be like that. It's gonna be super easy, super fun." Yeah. <laughs> the thing is that she tries to have like literal conversations with you like you tell her anything and she'll start like making all these different noises <laughs> she tries she's uh, she tries to have like these conversations with you but yeah no nina sorry <laughs> hey monica so now She's like, mom, mom, do I got to walk it again? Yes, you do. Because just like you got to change a baby diaper a hundred times a day, you got to walk a puppy a hundred times a day. What did I do with my blade? Did anybody see it? I literally just had it. All right, here, let me roll down there. Um, so I think three is enough. I think three is enough. I think this is going to look super cute. I'm going to adjust these, you know, as I need them. So I got this. This is going to be pretty much stuck on the back here. Which I'm going to go ahead and just stick them down. And I'll probably add a little bit of... um tape or something to it just to make sure that it's always stuck down and that it's not going to come up. So this is our Potter thingamabob, right? <laughs> you guys know I'm terrible with names. All right, so I can put this blade away. Put these gelatos away for now. If I need them, I know where to find them. And let's get back to this. And what I'm going to do, 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 yeah, I think I'm going to be spraying those poly separately. I'm going to start by um, spraying this thing down. Hopefully the spray will want to work with me. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. So we're just going to go ahead and um, add it this way. And let me get my little rag here. The flowers are going to be the last thing that are going to go on here. I'm just pretty much going to allow it to kind of do its own little thing here. Adding more where I feel like it needs more.
And this is not like a real canvas, you guys. This is like recycled um, from the drawers. <laughs> hey, Donna, how are you, darling? So I'm just gonna let it kind of zigzag all over the place and do whatever the heck it wants to do. Let's see if this one will work. Ooh, this one wants to work. Does it? Nope, it tricked me. It wants to and it doesn't want to, so. This is why I don't like sprayers at all. Because they work the first two times and then they don't want to work no more. So, I'll just do that. I'm going to move that around. Paint nice and mixed in through there. And what I'm going to do, I think, what I feel like doing is actually I'm going to um, use some plastic and this. I'm just going to lay some plastic right over that so I can pick it up. Okay. And I'm going to add some paint to this as well and do the same kind of thing. I just wanted to kind of go all over the place. So this is kind of what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab some gold and some of this black. This and the kind of uh, squeeze them together. And then just kind of add them in different places. This will give me a very different um, kind of texture to it. Where's the gold? Let's add more gold. It's got a little bit of blue in there. It's got a little bit of blue. And we're just gonna kiss the paper. And I'm just using the stuff that I have literally like hang lingering around. And even when I worry about, oh my God, this is not looking right. This is not this, this is not that. I just let it go. It is what it is. It'll finish how it's gonna finish. And if it's gonna look amazing, it's gonna look amazing. And if it doesn't, then it doesn't. But at the end of the day, it's something different. Very, very different. <laughs> I wanted to, I don't know if it will do it, but, oh, maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Why does this always happen to me with these god dang sprays? Like, nope, not today. Not today, mademoiselle, not today. 
let me get some water and just spray this. <laughs> we tried, right? We tried. We tried. That's all we can do. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. And just let it kind of bloom. The flowers themselves are going to be black. Once um this kind of dries out a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and kind of rub some of the waxes on it and that'll pick up all the raised areas that I have. So I don't care if they don't show at this point in time because I am going to be fixing that at a later point in time. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. And I never really know how my stuff is gonna come out. I just, I just do it. I just do it. And I don't really try to worry too much about, you know, what the end result is gonna be because I have no idea what it's gonna be. I think that makes it for me more fun because it makes it so that I don't necessarily know what I'm getting, which allows me to play more. When you have a specific um, idea, then, you have to kind of concentrate on getting that effect and you have to do everything in a very methodical kind of way so that you go ahead and get that effect. I'd rather just let it be and have fun, which both can be fun. It all depends on the kind of person that you are. Some people are very um, neat and organized. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> Thank you. I think that with... Um, I don't want the lines to go on the other way. I think that with the flowers and just the way that this is gonna look overall, I think that that's gonna come out really cool um, with the potteries and stuff and everything. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. So I do need that to dry sooner rather than later. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab some sheets of paper and get my mixed media on and create some papers for later. I'm going to go ahead and just rub that on there. See? Paper for later. And that'll allow this to kind of dry just a little bit sooner. And at the same time, I didn't lose too much of the effect, but um, I can definitely use these papers for a different kind of project. And if I really, really feel like I need this or that, then I can always add this and that back in there. But for right now, I'm kind of good. I'm kind of good. I kind of like that. So I'm going to put this to the side because I need to spray down my lines. So I'm going to put this here. So I don't want to get that dirty. I'm going to cover that up with a paper like so. My plastic fell down. Let's go ahead and drop that. I'm going to put this here for now. So I'm going to spray these down. And I think I'm going to spray these um, probably in some of that gold if I can. This dang thing will work for me. I know the person that invented this when they first came out with like, oh my God, look at this, this is so freaking cool. And then like a week later, they're like, dang it, why did I put this in the market? <laughs> Everybody's gonna be complaining. Oh no, be careful, be careful. Let me just do this, I think, like this. Probably be a little bit better. I'm gonna get my fingers just a little bit dirty here. A little drop of glue on top of that. 
yellow there and see if I can make some kind of a weird looking green. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna need more. So let's do this. And that's the thing with me, I don't care about getting my fingers dirty. All I care about is how it's gonna look like, you know, once it's done. That's what I care about. I'm not too worried about the rest. I probably should have done this before I put these in there. <laughs> Uh, I know you guys are saying that to yourself. Like Carmen should have done that after. <laughs> she did it. I mean, before, not after. But oh well. It's more daring this way. I'll just pull these down so that I get them to the point where I actually painted them. Look, it's gold fingers. Yep, that's my name, gold fingers. And just a little bit more. All right, so I think kind of like that right there. A little bit of gold goes a long way. Kind of squeezing them in to one another. So that I have um, that shimmery stuff. Now, once this is like all set in, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of um, glamour dust to it. So this is gonna have a little bit of shine. I'm gonna add some glamour dust also to um, the flowers themselves as well. Let me just clean my hands just a little bit. I need that. I need to clean my hands just a little bit. It's a secret, Karina. <laughs> it's for tomorrow's hop. All right, so I got my hands somewhat there. And let me just go ahead and pull this down just a little bit. Hopefully it didn't glue itself down too tight. So I can go ahead and pull these out. I want to get them so that right where the right where the color is already in there. So I don't have to fight with the fact that some areas of it are a little bit whiter than they need to be. This will all be glued in place anyway once I add them. Once I glue the whole thing down. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. So, yes, this is not dry as you guys can see. Let me see what's right side up. Okay, this is right side up. Um, that is not dry all the way. So I will definitely recommend that you dry it all the way through and through. Don't be as crazy as I am right now and just kind of um, tossing it all together there. Let's call that TV magic for right now. <laughs> In TV world, it's dry. So I'm going to go ahead and let this glue come down whenever it feels like it. At some point in time, it'll feel like it. Let's see. There we go. I had a little bit of a glue plug in there. Got that out. Come on, molasses. 
molasses. Get you in there. Is this cool? Let me just hold this down for a few. All right, Monica, no problem, darling. Oh, <laughs> that's always how that works. What happened, Tanya? You lost your expression. Te dejaron muda. Okay. So this is what this is looking like so far. I think I like it. And with the flowers. Yeah. All right. So let's see how I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the flowers like in the little bed. Something like that. So I'm going to figure out the placements um, for these. And then kind of glue them, glue them down. These are small, so maybe one big, too small. Yeah, kind of like that. This is way too big. Maybe down here somewhere. This is still way too much. So maybe something like this. Yeah, I kind of like that. What do you guys think? Let me stand up so I can see. Thanks, darling. I think it makes like um everything kind of pop off just a smidge. I just have to get this thing to stick. Because I am in dire need of, of um getting some glue sticks and I haven't got them yet. <laughs> I keep going to the store and I keep forgetting to get them. <laughs> That's like the worst, right? Like, you know what you got to get, but you keep going and you keep forgetting it. If you ever go to the grocery store and have a whole list of stuff to get, and then you forget the one main thing that you got to get, that's kind of what I'm going through right now. And then this Aileen glue takes forever to kind of um, stick all the way down. So let me go ahead and I'm going to try to snake this out. And I forgot kind of how it is that I wanted this to go. But um, this thing dries clear, so it says. I got to get me some kind of a fine nozzle that actually takes really thick um, glues like this. Let me find a, a popsicle stick somewhere. So I can kind of, um, there we go. One of these little ones. That I can kind of um, just pick up some of that excess glue. Just so that it doesn't look so kind of botchy. This part I don't really care because that's going to be covered with the flower anyway. So, thank you, Tina. Hey, Tina. Hey, I didn't even see you there. <laughs> 
So let's see. So these are like really cute. Um, I took these off of one of those 1960s, 50s, 70s belts. I don't even know. So we're going to just glue this baby into place. I'm just kind of squeezing that down. I need something to kind of hold this down right there. What else do I have that's kind of full, kind of heavy? There we go. I have another one. There we go. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll do it. All right. So let's work on this one now. Let me kind of spin this a little bit. It started to kind of unravel itself. Um, I miss my old glue bottle, but since I don't have the glue for that anymore, I am gonna do this with this. And I put more glue than I needed to, but it's okay. So I'll just stick the flower right there. I'll stick the flower right there. Right. So this went from a piece of junk that I was literally like, I just had it there. I was gonna throw it out. So now it's not a piece of junk anymore. Now it's art. Now it's art. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's see if I can maneuver this one to go exactly where I need it to go. I'm just cleaning off some of that um, excess glue. And I think this is gonna go down in the history of like the fastest project that I've ever done ring alive. <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh, by the way, I'm super excited. My community posts have finally opened up. So I am able to share with you guys pictures and just different things um, during the week, kind of like what you do on Instagram and stuff like that. So um, definitely check that out. I'm going to be asking like, you know, uh, what you guys would like to see and things like that, just to kind of give me more of an idea. Um, I put the question out of if you guys wanted to see some kind of mixed media uh, or if you wanted to see some kind of art journaling or whatever. And I got the, I think it was for art journaling both. And I was going to do the art journaling, but instead I ended up just doing this as a mixed media. <laughs> Which I think it still kind of works. So hopefully you guys are not uh, too disappointed. Did you walk her? She walked herself in the hallway. Great. Yeah. Can you take her out though? Maybe she has to go, you know, to the other part of the business. No, she did. She did twice. Both businesses. She did both businesses. Great. Yeah. Oh. Puppy love, right? Puppy love. <laughs> I'm just holding this thing down right now, you guys, just so um, see if it'll catch some grip. Hot glue will probably be ideal because it's quick, it's easy, and you don't have to wait for things to dry. Um, same thing with this. You could have even done the vine out of hot glue. I've done those before. They come out really, really cool. Um, for this one, though, I'm, I wanted to do just something a little different. And I don't understand why this is not uh, 
going down. And it's not because the thing is wet, because it's not, it's more wet on the sides than it is in the center. Just gonna hold this down a few. But we are about done. Now let's go ahead and grab um, some, whatchamacallit? I need something that's heavy, heavy, heavy. What do I have that is super, super heavy? Um, maybe this. <laughs> Just when you think everything is going according to plans. All right, where's my glitter? Glitter, glitter, glitter. Some sparkle. Who doesn't need some sparkle in their life? I know I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some sparkle to this. This dang thing. It's literally picking up the paint and everything under it. I'm gonna have to go dry it off um, after I'm done with this live, but I wanna give you guys the finished product. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some glue. I'm gonna put it on this piece of paper right here. And I'm just gonna brush some glue on. Just need a little bit. I'm gonna grab this little popsicle stick. And I'm just gonna kind of smear that glue onto that popsicle stick so it's not in any um, kind of actual, you know, it doesn't come out like gloopy or nothing like that. And I'm just gonna kind of stick that onto that. I need more. I need more. I'm gonna flatten that out and then go ahead and add more. <laughs> I need more. I wonder what she would say if she could talk. I've been doing a lot of wondering lately when it comes to her. What is she thinking? What is she saying? I don't understand. What do you want? I've given you water. I've taken you out. You've ran around the house. You've destroyed four balls and three bones. What do you want? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna sprinkle just some of this um, glitter on here. Now I'm gonna leave it like that until it kind of dries out. So I'll be putting the final pics on the community post so that you guys can see um, what it is instead of me having to go to Instagram all the time, which I'll still share through there, but um, some people don't have Instagram. So this will at least allow them to still be able to see um, all the things that I do share on my Instagram. I'll be able to share them through there as well. I just wanna add. A little bit more blue here and there. Now I want these to have some sparkle to them. I don't want them to be like overwhelmed to sparkle, but I do want them to have quite their bit. Since I'm not gonna jessel them or do anything to them like that, I want them to be able to have that little bit of shine. And I'm gonna see if I can actually get some of that off so that I can share with you guys what it actually looks like without that whole thing falling apart. So pray for me, you guys. I'm about to do a bold move. I'm about to do a bold move here and try to get some of this glitter off of here. My flowers might come off with it. Hopefully it doesn't, but it might. Yep, it will. So I don't think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna leave it alone. The first thing I did with the flower came right off. So I gotta let that dry. So um, this is pretty much what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a little bit of bling to that vase because of course we need a little bit of bling on there as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add something to that.
kind of like gold. So I'm going to add a little bit of gold into the canvas itself. And let's see. We need something that blinks, the blingy blingy. Um, sorry for my elbow being in the way. Let me grab this box just a little bit better. Let me see what I can find. Something that'll work here with this. Okay, I found the rose pearls. I think that'll probably be a good size. And I'm gonna just add these pearls right there. Oh, talk about perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I have my big glue gun. I have it in the living room. So I'm, I am going to glue the gun this thing down because I can't fight with this no more. I can't do it, you guys. I can't do it. I can't fight with it no more. Yeah, I can't. But it's going to dry so pretty once it's all completely, completely dry. I'm going to add a few of these little tiles on here as well just to finish off the look that I'm going for. I'm gonna add them like so. <laughs> This is going to be like the most awkwardest um, live stream. <laughs> For real. <laughs> With a dog barking in the background, it's like, what the heck? I, I already see that the messages that I'm going to get like a couple years from now or not even probably like a couple months from now. Like, it's really hard to see what you're doing with all the barking in the background. It's not that bad, but you'd be surprised. I've watched people's videos. They have less than that and they get people complaining about you know, anything that seems distracting in the smallest of ways. Yeah. I'm good and I'm just about done. Yay. Look at that, you guys. For the first time, I didn't take up your whole Saturday. <laughs> your whole Saturday evening. Thank you. Thank you, my loves. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And again, I do apologize for the distraction with Miss Woof Woof over there, thinking that she um, owns the house and everybody in it. She has to adjust to us, and we have to adjust to her as well. My tile's coming up a little crooked. Adjustments, adjusting. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to add these in here. I've had these for quite some time. I've never really used them, so this is perfect. I think this gives it a really nice um, touch. More dimension. Mm hmm. Miss Wolf Wolf. I'm going to change her name to Miss Wolf Wolf, you guys. Miss Wolf Wolf wants to own the house. She's not. Nope, she's not. She'll get used to it. She's good at nighttime, though, for the most part. For the most part, you guys. Don't quote me. <laughs> and don't hold me to it because um, every now and then, she will be in the mood to make a racket. Um, there she goes. Yes. She's a, like, how can I say? It? She's really playful. Um, she's a Labrador retriever, which they automatically are very juvenile. 
and her may and her being only six months she's extremely extremely juvenile <laughs> everything to her is tug of war <laughs> it's the cutest thing though we laugh so much it's not even funny we laugh so much like we love her to pieces <laughs> but um yeah she's a messy little tessie sometimes that's the only um real issue right now And she likes to drink water like it's going out of business. <laughs> she loves her water, boy. I have all of these little things in there. And I just one here and one there just to finish it off. But we do love her. We love her to pieces. She's a lot of fun. Well, she's in playful mode, but she's um she's mixed. Came to find out that she's not a pure breed, 100%. She looks just like it, but um after doing some intense research, we come to find out that she's mixed with pit bull. <laughs> so her mama left herself a thug once upon a time, <laughs> and now <laughs> we're paying the price. All right, so this is the last one. <laughs> Like the true definition of lady and the tramp I have going on in my house, but it's all right. We'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, she walked the shame. My daughter gave up. She said, I'm just going to take you out. It doesn't matter if I took you out 15 minutes ago. Let's go back again. All right. So, yes, she wants to play all day. That's the problem. <laughs> Me and Sasson, we done that already. We did those. We gave our, our, our kids our QT. And now to have her be like that, we thought she was going to be so mellow. But <laughs> she's not mellow at all. She's like, mellow what? <laughs> mellow, chase me around. <laughs> I want to play. That's where her mind is at. All right. So I think this is it, you guys. Um, I think that this is it. And like I said, once it's all completely dry and I'm able to flip it over and get some of this excess um, glitter and stuff off of it, I'll be able to share a little bit more with you guys. I'm not going to, I'm actually going to probably add more glitter along these, but I don't want to do it yet because I don't want it to stick to like the sides and get all clumpy along the edges. Um, so I'm just going to leave it like that for right now. But this is more or less the gist of what it looks like. So I'll bring that up. So that you guys can kind of see what the heck this needs more glue <laughs> does alien have a quick dry because i need that <laughs> i need something that dries quick that's why i love my dollar tree um glue because it dried fast i didn't have to be fighting with it but i like the way that this came out overall i think it'll make a really nice um hanging in, in the living room or in a different kind of space Yes, they do, Tanya. Lord help us all. <laughs> Lord help us all. So now, I have rabbits running, <laughs> running throughout the house. Can't understand a lick of what they're saying, but they're always doing something that they shouldn't be doing. So you guys, I think this is going to conclude my Saturday um, live stream. I think I did it in record breaking time. I took an hour and eight minutes. Never done that before. I don't think ever, 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 ever. Um, but tomorrow is going to be a really, really exciting day. We have the Timeless Memories Vintage Pop. The next uh, project is going to be shared tomorrow. So make sure that you guys go and check out everybody that's in it. Everybody's going to be doing something different. We're going to be uploading throughout Sunday. I don't like to put people on a specific time because, you know, people have different things to do. And look at me. I would have I would have been the first one to break my own rule because I'm running late like crazy. Um, but I will have a video up for you guys tomorrow. So will everybody else, fingers crossed, God willing, everything will go uh, smoothly. So check out everybody. Um, subscribe to the channel. Show them some love. Show them some support. You know, we work really, really hard to you know, create these things to begin with. And it takes a lot to just share them and edit the videos and put them all together. Um, so definitely go and show them some YouTube love and appreciation. Um, and thank you all so much for coming here with me tonight. And 
you know, joining me on this live stream. I hope that you guys have liked what I've created for you all. <laughs> yes, he needs to. <laughs> That's kind of part of the reason why we're like rushing this because I have to finish mine, you guys. It's 90% done, but it still needs like a few little things here and there. And I have to work on just a few other little things here and there. But it's almost done. Um, oh, she locked herself out. <laughs> so thank you guys with that. I'm going to say good night. I love you all. And I will catch you on the next uh, Saturday. Make sure to check out Sasson and Crafts. Thank you so much, um, Crafting with Isabel Labori, for being here and moderating my channel. I really, really do appreciate you guys. And I will catch you on the next one. Hugs and kisses to everybody. Don't forget about tomorrow. Bye.